Didn't I just say I was going on vacation? Hope you like my vlog. Amvet's Thrift Store. Haven't been here for a long time. It's in uh, Bristol, Tennessee. I think I found something here. When I looked up eBay sold comps, I, I couldn't believe what I saw. A set of these sold for $350 plus shipping. And it's the first thing I picked up in the store. I have to say it has uh, a nice sound. An eBay buyer messaged me. She didn't want to buy the jello mold. No, she just wanted the recipe. Here's what she wrote. I realize that this is a long shot, but I'm trying to pull off a Christmas miracle. My parents and I have been making this snowman mold ice cream dessert for years. However, my mom misplaced the recipe. And you can pause it here if you'd like to read everything. So what do you think I did? Would you have sent the recipe? Well, she touched my heart when she said her mom has dementia and her father has cancer. My dad had dementia and my mother had cancer. And it was really hard, but throughout the many years, he kept his smile and his sense of humor. What are you eating? Food. Are you? Mm-hmm. You're so silly. What do you want to say to the world? Get the heck out of here, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works, except we're staying, so you're stuck with us. Mm. What else do you want to say? What do I want to say here? Yeah. I don't know what, just so nice people. Well, get that damn thing going, then. Going? Where are we going? <laughs> Can you take care of this person over here? I haven't been able to do it in 13, 14 years now, so I I'm, I'm, I'm I know. Mine, not going to try look, now. Yeah. Mine just went out they the door. Out. I don't have I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> you know? Yeah, what do you wish that stuff were made? How are you? Because I haven't seen you for a week or so. And you go out the door, you're going to just throw it all out anyway. You think? We, I know it happens. I've seen you going out before. And you're just going to this. You know what that's... Delete. Yeah. Delete. What's delete? Who's delete? So uh. what, what kind of sandwich do you have? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dad. What? Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> so, yes, I did copy the recipe and send it to her. I sent her photos via eBay messaging. And guess what? It's sold anyway, not to her, but to someone else. I think the birds sense something, and I think they're trying to get in just a little more seed, a little more food. Mark, does this storm have a name, this winter storm? Yes, it does. And it seems as though... My grandfather, uh, my mother's dad, is coming to visit us. His first name was Elliot, but he went by his middle name, Finley. So, hi, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, hi, Grandpa that I never met. I uh, hope you keep us safe in the storm and everyone else as well. I baked one of my favorite cookies, Walnut Frosties, and I grabbed the wrong size scoop. Look how big these are. The next batch in the oven, they're a lot smaller, but yeah. These are jumbo cookies. So this is what they were supposed to look like in size. See the difference? And what I like about this recipe is that it's not too sweet. I really don't like super sweet things. So that sour cream takes the edge off the sweetness. Walnut Frosties. Mark found these books at the Goodwill the other day, the Encyclopedia of Collectibles, and I'm having fun already going through the first one. And I have to say, it's inspiring ideas for future videos. It's torn off, but we paid $1.99 per book. Good morning. It's Christmas Eve day, and Mark and I are heading out to the Golden Corral to have a big breakfast omelet. And then I think we're going to go to the flea market, the Tri-Cities flea market, and see if we can find some Christmas items. In particular, I'm looking for Department 56 box ornaments. You know, those cat ornaments that we did so well on this year. So if we find anything, I'll be sure to show you. And yeah, we'll see what the day brings. Oh, by the way, it's only five degrees here. I'm sure it's probably even colder where you are. Good morning. Merry Christmas.
cars at the buildings, you know, for the vendors, but the parking lot's empty. Almost 11 o'clock, even though they say they're open till four or five, you might be surprised. A lot of people may be closed today. Pretty empty. We'll take a look around and I'm just going to video if I find something of interest. Yeah, Hallmark keeps I appreciate up. you doing that. It would have taken me a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> Unassembled. I should have videoed it when it was assembled, but it's really cute. Yeah, most of the booths are closed, but you know, I bought that Hallmark stand. Paid $5. Hopefully it's worth about 30 or more, but we'll keep looking. It's the day before Christmas. There have been power outages and there were only a dozen vendors or so open, but we found that Hallmark Christmas ornament display and that's it, so... I found a sold comp on eBay for $29.99. One free ship and one plus shipping. Do you see what I see? I see a smiley face with a Santa hat. I wish I had one of these. I know this isn't much snow to you, but for us, it's about normal, a light dusting. The first year that we moved here, we had about a foot of snow on Mark's birthday, but most of the time, we only have a slight dusting here in Northeast Tennessee. I know though, those of you up north have had a lot more snow and I feel for you because I grew up in Ohio and I know what snow can be like. It's Christmas morning and I'm making pancake puffs. You may not know, but I have a second YouTube channel. It's called Thrifty Recipes and I just recently put this video up. So if you haven't checked out my channel, I invite you to come over and take a look. We absolutely love these. They are so delicious and I top them with apricot maple syrup. Mmm, mmm, good. Want to say that on camera? Mmm, mmm, good. <laughs> Glad you enjoy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm still trying to lose weight, so time to get back on that treadmill. And I have lost a few pounds so far. Thought you might like to see my view. little keyboard time here on YouTube, meaning I'm reviewing some of my older videos. Should I keep my first video up from September of 2019 or should I just tweak the title? I'm thinking about tweaking titles. That's what I'm working on today. Hopefully for not more than a couple of hours. All right, here goes nothing. It's about 9.30 and the deer are grazing in the backyard. Love that. Look at that little one down there. It's so cute. I bet there's more than two. There is another one. We have three now. I guess the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, meaning our side. Good morning. I have a few sales to pull and get shipped. Take them to the post office. It's uh, Tuesday after Christmas. And then Mark and I are heading out to some of the local thrift stores to see if there's any Christmas items left worth buying. You know, the ReStore and some smaller thrift stores that we have around here. So that's what we're doing today. I am so behind. I need to put this stuff away. We need to list this stuff and this stuff. <laughs> it's all lined up to be photographed. And Mark already photographed these items, which I need to finish the listings on eBay. So when I said I needed to take some time, get better organized, it's pretty much I need to get caught up. When I say better organized, I need to get some things in storage. We had about eight sales over the Christmas weekend and I've sorted them by what's out in the garage versus what's in this room. I don't have a lot of items, but I'm happy to have sales. I'm so glad that I partially wrapped these three wise kings. So all I have to do now is fit this into another box. And let's see here. These are from Sears. Three wise kings, wise men figures, 12 and a half inches tall. I paid $1.80 this summer and they sold on offer for $30 plus shipping. Mark's going to show you how we use this scoring tool. I've had this for a long time, but I don't think I've ever shown it to you. You can find a link for it in the description below this video. This is what it looks like and it has this adjustable part here with this little lip. You measure and decide where you want the teeth to be for the box score. You know, we folded the flap in and we're on the outside, but we prefer to score on the inside if we can, as Mark just did. But that's what it looks like, and you can adjust this, you know, to be as long or as short, I guess, as it will allow you to be. And then it has this little handle and you just, like that. Hold on to the handle. 
I'll put a link for this in the description below the video. We've already weighed the box, so we know we're pretty much okay for the weight. I think if we cut the flaps, we'll be able to get under five pounds. Oh, okay. Because it was just over five, and we were estimating six. So I think if we cut the flaps, we'll be in good shape. Okay. Well, that's it's it. quarter to one, and we're getting out the door a lot later than what we planned. The custom box always takes so much time. Those three king figures lost a lot of time on that. So we're heading out to... Uh, get lunch at Applebee's with one of the gift cards that I gave Mark for his birthday recently. And going to thrift stores, I hope, to look for Christmas items. Well, post office before that. If I find something good today, I'll be sure to show you. Lunch at Applebee's, check, it was great. Getting gas, and I was curious how much you're paying for gas right now. Ours is $289.9 on December 27th. Still have to stop at the post office. Hope there's not a long line. And I'm still trying to get to those thrift stores to see if there's any Christmas left. Fingers crossed. It's already, it's already two o'clock. Got to the post office and they're closed for a water line break. Yeah. I see some water here, water, but, not but there's no water in there. Hmm. All right, we gotta go downtown. Okay, the restore was closed. So we're going to see if Hope Haven Ministries is open. And I think it is, I see cars. In fact, I see cars at both locations. There's one here and one here. Christmas is 75% off. This is a cute little brass tray. I don't know if it's worth much, but I've never seen one like it before. Let's take a look around at 75% off. I've got to find something here to resell. These are Pier 1 ornaments and they're pricey, but they're 75% off. And I'm always up for a grab bag of ornaments. Grab bag. Mm, I'm in. Grab bag for $3. I'll take a chance on those. That was that was fun. I only spent $22 and some change. Got a ton of Christmas items for 75% off. We're stopping at their companion store over here. See if there's anything else. This store is mostly clothing and jewelry, but they have some hard goods still. Let's take a quick look at my haul from the Hope Haven Ministries resale store. I'll talk about it in more detail in a future video. Frank Courier Country Sausage. I'm going to make sausage patties and my new air fryer. My Christmas present. I got seven sausage patties out of that pack. That's a local producer, North Carolina producer of this sausage, and we absolutely love it. So I know not everyone has it, even though we got it at Aldi's. All right, how do I use this thing? To wake it up. I'm going to preheat to 400 and start. I don't know if your Aldi's carries these, but these sweet harvest fried apples with cinnamon are absolutely delicious. So what we're doing this morning is we're making some breakfast sandwiches, with English muffins, and we're going to have a side of fried apples. Five minutes on the first round. I'm doing six slices. 
see, it's been five minutes. There's sizzling. And yes, of course, I shrunk a little bit. I just need to turn them over and go three minutes more. At least that's what everything says that I checked. All right, back in they go. And time is three minutes. And then we'll call it. Do you believe they're done? You hear the sizzling. And that's our breakfast this morning. Did you like the sausage as breakfast sandwiches and the apples? Are you recording all this? <laughs> yes. I don't know why you're recording this jumbo mumbo. Hun, we've got things to do today. We're going shopping again, thrifting again. Ooh. <laughs> I just want to know the, if you liked it. The Egg McMuffin sandwiches with Frank's sausage. It was Egg Mark Muffin. Egg Mark Muffin? Yes. <laughs> You're making me shake the phone. Because Mark made the muffins. I only toasted them. The sandwiches with Frank's sausage was very good. Making the, uh, the sandwiches with the eggs and muffins was a very good idea. And the uh, apples, all these apples, that was really a good and different side for uh, the breakfast. So I enjoyed it. Great, I get a thumbs up? Two. Breakfast, check. Now we're heading to Bristol, Tennessee and Bristol, Virginia to check out some more thrift stores for after Christmas clearance. See if there's anything left at all that we can buy to resell. And we'll see what else we get into. If I find something today, I'll show you a glimpse of it, but the haul will be in a separate video. Let's go. We're arriving at Goodwill in Bristol, Tennessee. No. We're arriving at Goodwill in Bristol, Virginia. These are cute. We're going to stop into a store that we haven't been into for a very long time. It's called JJ's Vendor Mall. JJ's Vendor Mall and Home Decor. Got loud music playing here, so I'm not going to be able to uh, play any live sound. I might have to do a voiceover. This is the kind of booth that I'm looking for. But it's a nice mall. We just haven't been in here for a long time. Which way do I go? Oh, reticulated. These are pretty. Reticulated with all those holes cut out. Can't read it. Occupied Japan. Six for 75. That's out of my price range. It's been a while since I found something, but these two candle holders, two for eight dollars, and I believe they are Ellie Smith and 40% off. Basket, and napkin holder. Everything's on sale. Little deer or buck. So I'm going to make a monthly payment. Earring. Brass frame for three. Heart bookend or doorstop. Brass candles. Those are set. I always like to buy fragile stuff. <laughs> I spent $42 in there in JJ's. And this is what I have to say about it. I think it could be a good location for us to go back to again because some of the vendors didn't do their research. They didn't use Google Lens and they didn't know what they had, especially with the uh, L.A. Smith candle holders, the Angel candle holders. I gave you a quick glimpse of the overall haul. She had wrapped a few things and the actual haul will be a separate video. So hope you keep watching for that. Now we are heading to the Amvet store. I have a coupon, that's good. As you know, at the beginning of this vlog, this vacation vlog, we were at the Amvets. At that time, they gave me a coupon for $4 off a purchase of 15 or more, and I had to use it within 10 days. So that's what brought us back again today, as well as just getting out and having some more fun. Where's Mark, do you think I can spend $15 in here? Probably without trying. <laughs> without trying. Kind of hard to see walking down the middle of the road, Ambets. First store. It's a big store. I'm gonna go check out Christmas right away. See if they put out anything new since a week ago. I'm trying really hard to use that coupon 
There's got to be something here. I'm sure you're tired of seeing Christmas at this point by the time you see this video. It's cute. Looks like a Walmart reindeer. I need to spend 15 to save some money. Christmas isn't on sale this week, Mark. I love this store. It's only been open, I think, a little over a year, and I almost always find something. It's a huge store. It's at least 10 times bigger than our local Goodwill. Do I look exhausted? Plus, I've been wearing my mask. Whew. Um, I reached the 15. Got four dollars off. A lot of smalls, but they sell too. We have one more stop. <laughs> as tired as I am, one more stop. Goodwill. <sighs> Glad you're driving. The last Goodwill. No, not the last Goodwill. The last Goodwill of the day. A small section of Christmas left, and then we can look left, and we can look right, and that's about it. I found something for myself. Something I like never buy, but this crystal dish. Um, not sure if I'll use it in my future bathroom when I get it remodeled and put something in it or put it, you know, somewhere else with candy, but it's gorgeous. They're asking me $5.99, so I bought myself a gift today. Thanks for checking it, Mark. No. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. No shopping today. Completely exhausted. Do you shop till you drop? I need to clean off our kitchen table. So my plan is to process some of these ornaments and get them listed. And along the way, I'm going to show you some cleaning tips and photography tips. When the original price tag is lower than what I want to sell it for, I remove it. And I like these little embroidery scissors. They're perfect for this job. This plastic tool is called a Scotty Peeler. I just wet the label and then I use the plastic tool to scrape the label. What I like is that it doesn't damage the item. And Goo Gone helps remove any sticky residue. But I have this glob of glue and it just won't come off. So I got the hair dryer out. And thankfully, it did the trick. Got it. They look so much better now. And they're ready to photograph. I want to show you how I'm just doing this on my kitchen counter. Yes, we have a photo station downstairs, and I have two ceiling lights on and natural light from the window. After taking my photos, I run them through the Photo Room app. And you can see at a glance the photos that were taken that show the placemat and the countertop, and then you see a solid black background. For doing multiple photos, I just start a batch. It takes me to my photo album on my phone. I choose the photos and they import right away. Photo Room is a background removal app that takes away the existing background and replaces it automatically with white, but I can choose black and I prefer black for most of my ornaments. And then I just go into eBay, typed in Christmas Angel Ornaments. I chose one of the options that they showed me, changed it to used and imported the photos. It's that simple. Typed in the title and then save for later. I'll finish the draft on my laptop. If you decide to try the app, put in my name Vicki, V-I-C-K-I-E, find where you can enter a code, a referral code, a discount code, V-I-C-K-I-E, to get one month free of the pro version. 
I've done other videos on this. So let's take a look at these two baskets sitting on my counter. Let me show you quickly here how the photos turned out after I ran them through the Photo Room app. Isn't that cool? It's Monday, January 2nd, 2023, and it's a very misty morning. In fact, to my surprise, there's no birds out there this morning. I see the sun trying to peek over the hill. So what will today bring? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like doing too much. I'm supposed to be on vacation. Supposed to be, but there's always something to do. So here's my project today. I bought a lot of Christmas ornaments over the last couple of weeks. And so I'm going to pull these tubs of ornaments and reorganize them. And these are for just numbered ornaments. And I'm going to show you how I go back to the eBay listings and what I do to add new ornaments to these tubs. So I have some moving to do. So first I'm going to pull some of these. You can see on the end of the tub, I just put a little sticky note, ornament number one through 20, etc. And inside I have some index cards with the numbers and I try to cross them out when they sell, but I'm going to replace that with something else. Basically I'm going to merge and condense as many ornaments as I can into the boxes to free up room for more ornaments. I do this every year about this time. You know, January is a good time because I've sold a lot of ornaments over the Christmas season. And then I take a notepad and I like to put the date and the numbers of the ornaments in the tote. And that shows me what numbers are free to add more ornaments. Of course, this one is quite full, so I won't be adding more ornaments to this one for a while. I think I'll stop back at Target and see if I can get some more of these totes because, because I really like them for my ornaments. I peel off the old labels and replace them with new. This one is 01 through 75. And then I have a separate little sticker that says orange for ornament. Let me show you now how this list comes in handy. In this tote, I have a lot of empty space because you can see a lot of the ornaments have sold. So now I have some new items that I've listed recently and I need to file them away. I've yet to assign a number, but I know that 152, 3 up through 156 is available, 160, 161, etc. is available. So now I'll go in and assign a number from this list to each of these and then put them in this tote. And I went ahead and took my small labels and assigned 152, 153, and 154. Those are taken up now. And now I'll jump on my computer and assign the number. On the first one, I'm looking for a pearl swag. And there it is. I choose edit, and then right here under custom label SKU, I will assign it number 154, and that's where I'll find it. My ornament tote for 154. Make sure you save it, revise it. And this is not something that you will see when you go to view listing. It's always behind the scenes. So I'll finish the other two on my own. So I hope you find this short tutorial helpful and how I organize some of my Christmas ornaments. I've got more ornaments, believe me, I've got more, but I'll save that for another day. 152, 153, and 154. Obviously, this isn't my typical type of video, but if you like it, if you like this vlog style and would like to see more of it, leave a comment because that's the only way I'll know. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and Mark and I will see you soon.